What's up, Bills Mafia? We've got Aaron Williams in the car with me, Maddie Glab here. We're going through an epic Delta Sonic car wash. What better time to catch up than going through a car wash? Why not? Right? Right? All right, Aaron, you played for the Bills from 2011 to 2016. You were a safety for them. Um, we know you loved and embraced Bills Mafia more than a lot of players did. Everybody embraces Bills Mafia, but they were truly special to you. What was your favorite Bills Mafia moment? My favorite Bills Mafia? That's a tough one. There's so many great memories. One for sure I can that stands out was my rookie year when we played New England at home. I think it was like week three. We were off a 2-0 run, and that was like the first time we beat Tom at home in a long time. And we were on a nice little win streak, and it was just like a, a it reminded me of the environment I had at, at Texas because football in Texas is like huge. Yeah, it's, it's like religion. a college fan base, right? Exactly. So. It's the same environment here, but just a little bit more extreme. But there's a reason why Buffalo Bills has a number one fan base. Now that you're a former player, have you gotten to enjoy Bills Mafia as a fan now? You know what's funny? I never tailgated until after I retired. Um, even in college, even in high school, I was you know always busy playing the game, whatever. But it actually gets really crazy <laughs> at the tailgates. And are you like, I don't know if I can keep up. These people I, are wild. 7 a.m. till game time. <laughs> I'm telling you. And it's not just drinking. It's food. It's games. It's interacting. It's music. It's karaoke. So to see that side for the first time was just like, <sighs> What's the difference playing for an NFL team that truly has a fan base that the a ride or die type of That base? energy. That energy that we, that we really feed off the, the fans. Like there's a lot of places that I played at outside of uh, Bill's Stadium that you don't really hear anybody. And I'm not sure if it's because they're not as into it or, let's be honest, there's not really much in Buffalo. So we have is Sabres and Bills. Mm -hmm. And every other city has college teams, football, basketball, baseball, everything's centered around here. So the energy that they bring, it really carries onto the field. We really feed off that. So to have that energy, helps us on those third down stops or you know when we need the offense to have quiet down like all that matters so having the crowd to be really energetic and be really involved is like such a a pleasing for us because it gives us that that energy to go out there and do what we have to do is there a player on this current buffalo bills team that you would most want to play with right now on the current team yeah. on the I ain't gonna lie, Josh Allen for sure. <laughs> Would you want to just like flip to wide receiver for a hot second then? Or not, not even, not even defense? like. So I will never. I want to make this on on the record. I will never be a receiver. Okay, <laughs> I will forever be a DB. But going against a guy like Josh Allen every single day only increases my gameplay um, exponentially. Like having a great quarterback like him and practicing every single day it would just make my game a lot better um i mean he's such an amazing quarterback he just makes people around him better so to, to go against him every day would would be so and the, the trash talking him and Diggs, i would love to go against Diggs too i would love to go against Diggs, but they are doing such an amazing job i'm proud of those guys and yeah josh allen and Diggs probably those, those guys want. What do you think it would be like to play under Leslie Frazier and what impresses you most about the defense they play right now? It's crazy because I know Coach Frazier and we, him and I had talks right before um, I was let go. I love his, his defense scheme. Um, I mean, it's proven, the stats, the numbers have proven it. Um, I would love to play against any great DC. I don't know, it doesn't matter who, as long as they understand what my style of play is and how I can be help to the team in any way and use what I, you know, what I have, my talents, to make the defense better. I've been a part of top five defense as well, so I understand what it takes to, to be a part of that. And it takes a lot of leadership, focus, and, and attention. So for him to, to continue to have this defense in the top three is amazing, and I, and I, I wish to continue that they continue to have the three defense. Aaron, thanks for catching up with us. Hey, thanks. For, this is awesome. It's been such a long time since I've been to Delta Sonic. They do a great job of detailing everything. So. Go Delta Sonic! Let's go! <laughs>